Hi, this is Jeff Martin, also known as Numeric Citizen. In today's video, I want to talk about the digital um, feature of microblog. Today's video requires a, a bit more explanation than usual. So, uh, microblog is well known for uh, allowing people to create their uh, website. Uh, a lot of bloggers actually uh, use microblog to post content uh, on the web. But there is a feature uh, that microblog allows uh, uh, writers to use, which is pretty cool, and I think it's not really well understand. At least for me, it took me a few uh, a few moments to think about it and and see how it works actually. So when you think about microblog, uh, you are posting content on a website. Uh, people can follow you uh, so they can see when you post new content on your website. So this is the community side of microblog. But there is one thing that you can do which is pretty cool. And this is the fact that you can, if you want, ask microblog to follow so some RSS feed that you own and that will cross-post the content that you post elsewhere on your microblog timeline. As an example, um, as you know, I have a YouTube channel where these videos are posted. And if I want my followers on microblog, the, the people who follow me on microblog, to see when I'm posting a new video on my YouTube channel, uh, like this example here. So I took a screenshot of my uh, morning timeline where uh, there is a, a post that says three things any craft user should be able to do. And you see that it is uh, coming from YouTube. So any of my followers uh, who saw uh, their timeline this that morning uh, saw this post coming from me. But in fact, the post was done on YouTube. And since YouTube uh, generate a RSS feed, I can use that feed to cross post this to my uh, microblog timeline. So I think a diagram will help uh, illustrate this process. Uh, this diagram has been done with MindNotes, uh, which is a pretty uh, a great mind mapping software for the Mac. So um, as you can see here, there is a subscribe to a RSS feed that you can do within the uh, microblog configuration. I'll show you how it is done in a moment. So if you ask microblog to subscribe to one of your uh, RSS feed that you are uh, maintaining or that you are uh, on which you are publishing content to, uh, microblog will then be able to post that article coming from the RSS feed to your timeline. Like if you wrote this post directly on microblog, but in fact, it's coming from the external RSS feed. There is one thing important to understand is that microblog doesn't validate the uh, origin the origin of the RSS feed. So it should be one of yours. Uh, you should not use RSS feeds that you don't own to cross post to your microblog timeline. So uh, again, you have to own the content there, but there is no validation that the microblog can do about it. So again, you subscribe to one of your uh, RSS feed that you own, and you ask microblog to push that content or that article on your timeline so that followers will be able to see when you post other things on your other uh, publishing um, services on the web. So I think it's it's pretty cool. So I'll show you an example how it is done uh, using one of my RSS feed. For the purpose of uh, demonstrating the feature, uh, I'll use my uh, Substack account, where I used to publish a newsletter there, but I'm not very active. But for the purpose of the uh, demonstration, I'll use uh, my, again, my Substack account. So when I'm uh, visiting my own Substack account, uh, there is a uh, Safari extension that I use uh, that will try to see if there is any RSS feed available on this website. And this is the case. So this is the uh, RSS feed for my Substack account. So what I'll do if I click on it, I can copy this feed address and then I'll switch to my microblog um, 
uh, account. In the account section here, you see there is a section in the middle which is called feeds, and this is where the magic happens. So what I'll do is that I'll edit, edit the feeds and cross posting um, configuration. I'll go to the bottom. I'll paste the Substack uh, RSS feed that I got earlier, and then I'll ask uh, uh, Microblog to add posts from this feed to my Microblog timeline. Just by hitting this. And then when once it is, it is done, if I scroll down to the bottom of the list, you'll see this is the place where uh, the new feed has been inserted. I can disable this uh, for this specific feed if I want. Uh, and I'll leave it that, uh, that way. So, and then I can just hit refresh to see if there is any recent content published on this feed. So it gets Cross posted to my microblog timeline. So it's very, very simple. As you can see here, I uh, just um, I entered the uh, YouTube channel, my YouTube channel RSS feed, so that you could see when I'm publishing a new video on my YouTube channel. And I have also the same for my Write As account and also for my Exposure uh, account where I'm writing visual stories with. Uh, my photos. And also, you can see here at the at the top, uh, the very first RSS feed that I added was for the my, my own RSS feed for this uh, microblog uh, account. So this explains how microblog uh, can uh, ingest content from one of your RSS feed. And it, I think it's pretty cool. But the story doesn't the end there. Uh, there is more. What if you could cross post your incoming feed to uh, content to uh, other places like Twitter, uh, Medium, or LinkedIn, or Tumblr, or Flickr? Uh, so this is what you can do actually with uh, a microblog cross posting feature. And it, this is the basis of the foundation of why microblog is seen, is seen as a digital hub for your content. And it's pretty cool. So if I go back to the Substack RSS feed that I have just added to my account, I could uh, select to um, um, cross post one of uh, my articles, my article incoming articles for this feed to my uh, Mastodon account. Or I could also add it to a post on Tumblr or on Flickr. So depending on the RSS feed content, you may uh, choose to enable one or all of these depending on your needs and the objectives that, that you have. So for this specific feed, I'm not cross-posting that to uh, somewhere else. I'm certainly not cross-posting that to Twitter because I'm, not, I'm no longer on Twitter. But if I go up there, um, you can see that when I'm cross-posting, when I'm getting content from my Glass account, the RSS feed, I decided to cross post the content to my Mastodon account, which happens to be this address there. So any user on micro, uh, Mastodon who are following me on this account will actually get a cross post of my content coming from my Glass account. So if you look at this from a more a general process. If I switch to my diagram here, you see why the microblog can act as a real digital hub for your content because you can import things coming from your Glass uh, RSS feed and then post it on your timeline so that your microblog followers can see when you are posting new content on Glass. And by the way, the photo itself is uh, formatted and imported into the RSS feed. And you can also ask Microblog to push that content to somewhere else, like to your Mastodon account. So I think it's uh, pretty cool. And this is the last po portion of the story on why Microblog can act as a digital hub for your uh, publishing needs and your content. Now, what if uh, what happens when you are creating uh, writing content on your microblog account, uh, what are the possibilities that microblog offers you? 
Well, if I go in this uh, specific section here within my uh, feeds uh, configuration, uh, you see that for the uh, my microblog RSS feed, I can uh, all my posts are being cross-posted to my Mastodon account. So what happens when I'm going to uh, create a new uh, post on my uh, account here on microblog? So let's say this is a example post. Okay, so let's say I want to uh, post this thing here. So this is uh, Grammarly. Okay, so that's it. So uh, I can hit preview here. So I have an example. Uh, I see how my post is looking. I can add a picture. I can uh, more, write more content. Now, uh, Microblog recently added a feature where you can just, bes besides showing the, con the categories of your post, you can also show the cross posting options. And as you can see here, for my Microblog account, I have my RSS feed, which there is a cross post to my Mastodon account enabled. So I can leave it like that if I want, or I, I could select to not publish or not cross post this specific uh, post to my ma Mastodon account if I want to. So it really depends on your needs and how you want to cross post your contents elsewhere. So most of the time, I'll leave this option enabled so that all my followers on Mastodon can see what I'm writing on my um, microblog account. So this is a pretty cool uh, feature, again, of uh, microblog. And I think uh, it was not really well understood by many uh, users or subscribers of microblog. So again, this is the final portion of this explanation about using microblog as a digital hub. The last one thing I forgot to mention uh, is that you can disable uh, the cross-posting feature um, if you want on a per RSS feed basis. So the last one that I added for this uh, demonstration was the one coming from Substack. So I can disable this feature and uh, if I go back at the bottom, you'll see that the options are now grayed out. If I enable that again, uh, and I go uh, again at the bottom, you'll see that they are not blue, but none of those are configured for this specific feed. So it's kind of uh, uh, not um, uh, cross-posting anything, but if I, was to, if I was to enable the Mastodon account, then I, would, I could select on which Mastodon account I want to um, uh, publish, so I have to sign in first. But as you can see, you can uh, pretty easily control each of the RSS feed that are going to be cross-posted. So this is the last thing I wanted to mention regarding the cross-posting feature of microblog. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learn a few things about this obscure aspect of microblog, which is about the cross-posting feature. I hope you liked it. Uh, again, if you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, don't hesitate to do so and post comments or feedback on my uh, YouTube channel videos. Again, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching up to the, until the end and see you guys for another one soon. Bye and peace.